Oh, there he is! There he is! See, everyone is dressed up for the event. Obviously, we are taking a steady with the drink. Here he is. Hi, this is you and Cam. I get it now. We both just got the tingles. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Hello. How are we all doing? Sorry about that light. That light is. Oh, how is everyone? I am very excited about today's vlog. I'm getting ready for a rather exciting day. And thought I'd just chat to you while I get ready and do my little skincare routine. So, as you can tell by the title, we're off to Ascot. I am so excited. I have never been to Ascot before. For those of you who don't know what Ascot is, it is a um, it's like a race day here in. It's more than a day. It's over a series of days here. It's called Royal Ascot, so it obviously has um, connections to the royal family. I think. It has a lot of history. Let me actually check when Ascot kind of like kicked off. It actually opened on the 11th of August, 1711. And there is a enclosure called the Queen Anne enclosure. I don't know if that's actually because of the Queen's daughter. That could definitely be incorrect. But um, yeah, we aren't in that today. Uh, however, um, it does dictate what you have to wear. So there is a dress code for Ascot. And um, they ask that if you are in the royal enclosure, you wear a coat and tail, so a top hat and um, a, like a jacket with tail co tail bits. I don't know what they call them. <laughs> I think it's called a morning suit. We aren't in that today, so we can go slightly more casual, but still we have to wear a um, shirt with a collar and a tie. So that is the only requirement. So naturally, we're going for a suit. Not a morning suit, but a suit nonetheless. And um, Ewan is also coming as well. We were very kindly invited by um, Harrogate Spring Water. Now, Harrogate Water is something I have a lot of memories with. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm from the northeast of England, and Harrogate is obviously in Yorkshire. Um, it's about an hour from our house, so we've got so many lovely connections to Harrogate. We go a lot. My mum and stepdad visit Harrogate a lot. If you ever get the chance to visit, I thoroughly recommend you do because it is so beautiful. It's one of the most stunning parts of, in my opinion, England. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. So to attend with a northern brand to such a prestigious event in London is kind of like a full circle moment for me. It feels so special. And I remember when I got the invite through, I immediately texted my mum and I was like, Mum, I'm going to Ascot. Um, yeah, it's incredible. Things like Wimbledon, Ascot, all of these types of like things in the south of England of something I've always dreamed of. It's the fact that I'm attending today with you and as well. Oh, it's what a joyous, joyous experience. So yeah, I'm getting ready. The time is 7.21 in the morning. I don't think we actually need to be there till 11. Ascot is not too far from where we live in London. It's 24 miles away. Uh, it's gonna take us an hour and 10 minutes. So we need to set off at like 9.40. So we've got loads of time. We're finished getting ready. And I'm gonna show you my suit. I also need to make some breakfast which um, I am going to suggest that we line our stomachs. However, um, obviously we're attendant with Harrogate Spring Water, and we're going to be drinking and making a Royal Raspberry Spritz with um, the sparkling water. So it's alcohol-free. And obviously you don't need alcohol to have a good time. So we will be making that, and then um, just enjoying a nice little lunch. We've had the whole itinerary sent through, but I just thought I wanted to vlog today just because I feel like it's such a special moment. It was like Wimbledon last year. Um, so yeah, my face is all done now. I'm just gonna have some breakfast, make a coffee, and then we're gonna get in my suit. <laughs> Okay, so I've just had breakfast and I'm about to put on my suit. This is from Moss Bros. This was very kindly gifted for the event and um, I love Moss Bros suits. I've had my very first ever Moss Bros suit I had since 2018 and I still have it in my wardrobe. This is such a beautiful, it's almost like a houndstooth print. I think it actually might be houndstooth, but the lining is stunning. It's got this lovely floral detail. I actually went for a slightly larger size just to allow a little bit more room. Um, it's single breasted, so it's somewhat smart, but then I also went for a waistcoat to pop underneath. It's a low scoop waistcoat with a lovely detail of the pattern on the back as well. So I thought it was a nice note, like touch to summer. Now this is the tie that 
I selected. However, I do love this tie. However, I'm not entirely sure it matches with the color palette, so that might be TBC. This is because I do wear suits for events and occasions. I've built up quite a nice selection, so I do have some other options. I have a pink one, a nice detail here with a yellow, a blue, and then I have the matching handkerchief for that. I just need to give that a bit of an iron. I also have this nice print one here, but I think it's slightly autumnal. And then this one from Pink Shirt Makers that is double-sided. So I'm unsure. I don't know which one we're going to go for, but we're going to have a little play around. And we also have shoe options too. So I've got two different pairs of socks. I've got like a patterned pair and like a regular um, navy pair here. I have my Fairfax and Favour loafers that I absolutely love. These are more of a summer shoe for sure, opposed to these, which are slightly more, I'd say, winter. However, I think the green and the burgundy might work well with this. We uh, we will see. So I'm just about to try everything on, and then, um, yeah, we're ready to go. Okay, so this is the look for Ascot we're going for. I am so, so happy with this. As I said, the suit is moss. And I've kind of gone for like a clash with the pocket square with the tie. But I really, really love it. I wasn't 100% set on the tie when it arrived, but wearing it all together. And I've just finished off with a little tie pin that's also from Moss. Um, just keeping it in place because the waistcoat is quite low. Um, but obviously I can just take the jacket off if we want to just keep the waistcoat on for a bit of temperature regulation. It's going to get very hot today. My watch is actually from my mum and my brother is a graduation present. And every time I wear something fancy, it always comes out. And then fragrance, I've actually gone for a classic. This is Jo Malone Vetiver and Golden Vanilla Cologne. Intense, it's just really lovely and it lasts all day. No need for reapplication. I'm gonna take sunglasses because I feel like it's gonna be quite a sunny day. And when we're watching the races, we wanna be able to see what's going on. But yeah, that's today's look. Oh, and shoes are Russell and Bromley. These are my um, high shine penny loafers. And I've gone for like a contrasting sock and a similar print. We've gone for a lot of pattern clash, but I really like it, so yeah. Let's go, I'm off to meet Ewan at the train station. Do you know what's really funny? I left the flat, you went here about it. I felt so dapper, I felt so ready. I had to run to the train because I thought I was going to miss it. And now we are crammed on the train. See if you can see the beads. The beads. <laughs> no aircon. Yeah, no windows. There's no windows, so it's like a sauna in here. Yeah. So we both dealing with the jackets. Mm -hmm. I'm in wool. I mean, I'm yeah. in wool. <laughs> Unless you boarded the train, some chaps like nice wool suits. Yeah, the sweat look, it's, it's permeating through. This is not great. It's going to be a fun, warm day. The keel over. God rest our souls. We arrived. That was possibly the most uncomfortable train journey I've ever had in my life. Everyone around us was literally sweating. Like I have, I have sweat marks everywhere. Someone nearly passed out. That was not fun. You and get some emergency bananas. <laughs> get these emergency bananas. <laughs> um, yeah, we've got about a ten minute walk to cool down, get some air, and then um, yeah, we're gonna go and. Maybe we'll win a best who knows? So we thought the journey couldn't get any worse. Um, we have just been landed with a £50 fine each because we weren't aware that Ascot wasn't in like the travel zone of London. So um, you effectively need like a physical ticket to get out, otherwise the transport police come and scream at you. So we've just been landed with £100 worth of fines. Good, good start to the day. <laughs> so we're now buying our tickets back to London. <laughs> Um, yeah, lesson learned. If you do come to Ascot, you need to buy your tickets in advance. Good fun. We are following the crowds to Ascot. We don't know where we're going, but we're just going in the right direction, I'm guessing. Do you know what? I'm not letting that rain on what will be a very lovely day. It's just honestly, like, I feel like British transport is just a trigger word that like you say that word and it's just like, <laughs> I know, yeah. Um, we were just, we were just saying like it would have been so reasonable had they allowed us to just pay a fare. Had we known, we happily would have, you know. However, the, how much the cost would have been, but it's just not how it works, unfortunately. So, um, setting that aside, not letting it rain on a very lovely day. You're enjoying these croissants, and we're gonna, um, we're gonna go in. I'm really enjoying looking at everyone's suits yeah. and dresses. I feel like everyone is so well dressed. Oh, we've got a Range Rover coming in. We've got some bagpipes going on over there. I do like the bagpipes, they make me feel a bit emotional. Yeah. Very nice. Just walking to the Queen Anne enclosure now where we're meeting our hosts. We're slightly behind schedule because of our little uh, mishap, but that's okay. I feel like I need some kind of like refreshing, thirst quenching something. That bottle of water did not last two minutes, so something nice and fruity would be on the, uh, on the agenda. 
Are you going to place a bet? Oh yeah, maybe. Oh, you, you have a little flutter. Uh, flutter. That's what. That's the yeah. one my mum said it's called. Flutter on the um. What is it? Flutter on the something. I can't remember what she said. Apparently, is a phrase. Yeah. I was going to completely wrong. But. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She said you've got to say that if you want to sound professional. But <laughs> maybe we'll put a, a bet on. I don't really do betting, but we'll see. We are at Ascot Race Course. This looks very fancy. You can see just up. They have the big arena. Oh my goodness, this is very exciting. Wow, it is very busy. Woo! So, we have made it to the Harrogate Spring Water Terrace and we're sat in the shade because <laughs> after that so journey, true. do you know what? I hate to complain because I feel like all as Brits we do is when it rains, it's just miserable, and then when it's hot, it's too hot. But this is gorgeous now. This isn't is it? like the optimum. In the shade. So, yeah. so nice. So we've just been, um, we met the team, been told what we're going to do today. So we're going to do a cocktail masterclass, which is interesting because it's a non-alcoholic cocktail. Obviously, Harrogate is water, so they do still in sparkling. Um, and then we're going to have a nice little lunch, and then we are going to watch some race, aren't we? I'm quite excited. I feel like it's going to be good. But I don't know anything. <laughs> we no, we just... <laughs> we're like, sure about the odds and things. Yeah, we don't really know stuff. how that works. So, um, my God, it might be beginner's luck, though. We might both fluke it and come away with thousands yeah what would you do if you want a good chunk of money what would you do would you go on holiday yeah probably. yeah i think the same yeah. yeah nice little holiday somewhere Spend nice yeah. yeah yeah anyway let me show you the um let me show Pay you my train lines oh my gosh yeah i know 50 pounds each god do you know it's because we're both so frugal they're like 50 quid's quite a lot of money it's like a it's a lot yeah anyway yeah, hopefully we'll win something <laughs> so this is the mindful drinking bar so obviously it's just to kind of encourage people that you don't necessarily need to drink to have a great time um so yeah this is the little installation they've got some gorgeous little seating area here and then we have the actual main stadium over here so we've got all of the pageantry up so there's loads of union jacks you can see everyone is dressed up for the event it is absolutely gorgeous well so we'll do a full lap later on so you guys can get a feel for the place and it'll be nice for us so i've got the pims tent over there Lovely, really, really nice. We've got a gaucho restaurant. I think it's going to get very busy later, so I'll do a little recce. Very nice. You look very dapper, mate. Where's your suit from? <laughs> <laughs> Ewan's also in Moss today. I like the contrast in. My shoes are from Vintage. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh, look at those. So nice. Those are Vintage Gucci. Very nice. They are, honestly, you're very, very. I love the waistcoat. The waistcoat contrast is stunning. Very nice. Ginger. I love ginger. Yeah. Ginger's one of like my honestly I absolutely adore it. That is lovely. Mm. Very, very nice. And it's nice to not have to like have a drink. You know, yeah. it's like it's just it's a nice Gives it a kick. It, the difference between Wimbledon and last year was that we were we were a little bit pickled and we yes. had to have emergency rice kicks that you and brought because the drink got to us that much. Yes. I think it was the heat in the drink. I remember watching the last, do you remember the last match of the day? Mm -hmm. It was the doubles and I was like, I think I'm a little bit drunk. Yeah. Whereas this and the guy was really funny, wasn't he? Yeah, he, he was. was. Yeah, he was. I, I did some research afterwards and yeah. apparently he was like really known icon, for being a bit of an icon. Yeah. Um, but obviously this year at Ascot we're doing things a little bit more calm. Mm -hmm. We have the non-alcoholic drinks and they're really, really nice as well. Mm -hmm. And this stand obviously is all about promoting that. So yeah, really lovely, very chill. We are now walking to lunch, we're being um, escorted by the Harrogate team and then we're going to get a little glimpse, a very brief glimpse into the actual race course now. Here we are, we're about to walk in. Look at this. So these are the gardens. Oh my gosh, this is so lovely. Look at that stadium, isn't that incredible? Let's walk on in. I think we're getting some kind of like alfresco picnic lunch which would be super nice. Amazing, here we are we're at the garden club at the home street, so we're going on in. That didn't last very long, did it? <laughs> the sun is past the yard home, it's yeah. fine. It's got the chamfers in end. We just have to set it out here now and have a little spot of lunch. And we're having a little Fortnum and Mason bag. So there's some lovely little edible bits in here. We've got a gorgeous salad, I think. This is a fish one, so we've got all kinds of stuff. This is the favourites hampering. How gorgeous. So this is lunch. We've got a nice little butter bean and olive salad. We've got, I think this looks like a little celeriac. Or maybe it's like a slaw of some sort. And then we've got some salmon with some capers and some rye bread. And the Fortnum Tampa. Very, very nice. There we are. 
got the glass of champers that is absolutely stunning. Oh, cheers, cheers, chin chin, hip hip hurrah. I was speaking to my mum earlier uh, in the week, she was really excited about me coming to Ascot. And she was telling me the lingo for placing a bet. So you and already knew it was, it was a flutter, wasn't it? Oh, a flurry. A flurry. Yeah. A flutter. A flutter is a bet. And a, um, a GG is a horse. So yeah. you put a flutter on a GG, apparently that's a thing. Um, so that's like horse yeah. racing term of putting a bet on a horse. So my look is terrible when it comes to things like that. So I don't think I'm going to take home a lot of cash today. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just found out that we can actually stand up here and watch the hall of the race course, which is just over there. They're prepping now. Now they've got the little cameras on the lines above so we just had lunch down there it was really nice but what I'm gonna do is take you guys for a little tour around and see what we can spot it's gonna to nip to the loo I'm just doing a little tie adjustment I've just been to the loo and I feel like you need to fully readjust after you go rebutting off the waistcoat there we are jobs are good and reattach the tie clip I'm using you as a mirror but also as a, um, a reference point one glass of champagne and the tie is coming off <laughs> You and stay the last adjustments. Right, we are now going to have a little wander. I feel like it's nice to have a full explore. So, um, yeah, let's go on. Oh, look. Down the stairs. Some more one glass of champagne. It doesn't just can do that to us. We're feeling dabbles of rain. We're ignoring it. So all of those boxes up there are obviously for hospitality and, um, yeah, the Royal Enclosure is a bit further on. So we're going to go and see if we can have a little look. See if we can spot any famous faces. <laughs> So these are all of the little betting stands, so you can go and look at your odds, choose your horse, and place a bet. I think we should do it. Do you want to, do you want to place a bet? Should we? Yeah. Maybe let's just go rogue and just go for it. There's going to be some people who've heard me say that and be like, they don't know anything. I love the vibe, like the music playing, it's just all so good. I'm having a little walk around the bandstand now. Look at all of the flags. Ah, so there's a main bandstand where a lot of people are going to be forming later on. The only cuisine we do very well in, in, in England and Britain, fish and chips, and there's hardly anyone in the queue. Lovely. They're too good. Smell very nice though, don't they? Bandstand bar. It's just so nice to see everyone all dressed up. I feel like this is just the more special event. Even more than Wimbledon, I feel like people really, I mean, it's the requirement to dress up, isn't it? But yeah, lovely. What a fantastic place. So cool. We found the Pim stand and we're going to have a little drink in here. I do love it. Oh, they've got Pims on tap. <gasps> Stop it. That is a bit of us. Let's get involved. Large rosé, heavy on the ice. Rosé all day. Chin chin, dear. Obviously, we are taking a steady with the drink. We aren't going to get too squiffy, but it's nice to balance it out. Have a little and then enjoy. I've heard and enjoy. Room is quite a boozy event. Yes, I've heard this too. I think. Not that we would indulge No, we've never got it. I think a lot of people do come for the social side of it, of course. Yeah. To, obviously, the horse racing. Yeah, like gathering, especially after the past couple of years as well, when you haven't really had the chance to do it, like to really go to town, put on a nice suit or a nice dress, and just enjoy it, come with your friends and family, and especially consider it's been going on for a couple of hundred years. It's really nice. We're part of history today. So there is an Ascot shop here, so you can go in and have a look at some of the memorabilia and make a little purchase if you'd like. Should we have a look in? Oh, I don't know if we'll be lighting with our drinks. I'm not sure. Yeah. That's it. When we've not got a drink, absolutely. Which is <laughs> never going to happen. <laughs> so we're just watching the royal procession from our side and we think there's going to be some horses who are going to come around and be able to be viewed here. They've got the cameras rare and to go there. They are just ready for the procession. So over there is the king and queen, they just disembark in their first carriage and then they've got all of the royal procession just behind them as well. Isn't that incredible? Literally right there. Uh, so that is the royal enclosure there. Top hat entry only. I'm just having a little wander through now. There we are, prize fund of 115,000 and then first prize is 65,216 pounds. Wow. Here we are, so some of the horses are coming in now. Gosh, aren't they beautiful? Here come the allergies. <laughs> Gosh. So I think this is, from what we can gather of what we've just read, this is to depict two classes coming together. So this is the king and queen here. 
and then you have everyone from people who are attending Ascot to the working class as well. So you've got the labourers, the carpenters, the ironmongers who assembled the gates, welcome people into Ascot. Isn't that incredible? Sculptures are fantastic. So, so interesting. So we have all of the royal commentators down here. So they are doing all of the um, announcing and chatting broadcasting and they're getting reversed into the stables now ready to ready to start the first race. Who are we cheering for? <laughs> thanks but no thanks. <laughs> I'll stick with that one too. So we just watched our first race. Yeah, that was exciting. Um, I, I, we heard the thrum of the crowd, and uh, yeah, people take it really seriously, don't they? We just completely were asked at the bar, um, so are you having a nice day? Have you placed any bets? And we both went, no. I don't really know what we're doing. <laughs> We can't lie. Um, they said they think that most people here don't really know what they're doing either, so we just have to pretend. That does make us feel very good. It's, it, do you know what? Were you good at maths at school? I was okay, but oh. I feel like... I just feel like it, they make it, it confusing. Mm. Like, why, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, not, it's not very clear, No, I think that's it. I, I was terrible at maths at school, so the whole, like, odds... Like, say it was, like, 16 to 1, and, like, if you put 5 pounds on, of course, like, 10 pounds, yeah. and... I mean, some people must spend thousands a day, right? I dread to think how much money people are losing. Honestly, so. we're spending ten on rosé, and we're like, oh, <laughs> that's, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> so they've just had the band performing, and they're taking a well-earned break mid-horse race, and then they'll be back for another song. Turn off going to be first. I just saw this woman in the red with the stripes. Doesn't she look incredible? I feel like I want to go up to her and say she looks amazing. Such a cool outfit. Very, very vintage. I love that. The fashion here is so cool. Here we go, we're watching another race. I get it now. We both just got the tingles. Yeah, I love how we're like, will they come past? Yeah. Wow, okay, very cool. We didn't even place a bet and I got a bit of like the jitters there. Someone called but Villanova Queen one. But around us no one seems happy about that, so I'm gonna show you. <laughs> no one's cheering. There he is. <laughs> Faulty Towers. Oh steady on dear. He's got a steady hand. <laughs> I got us pints of water as well. Pints of champagne? We've got to keep the fluids up. Yeah. We do, absolutely. Very sensible, dear, very sensible. We are back in our little garden terrace. Yeah. It is so lovely here, isn't it? Oh, the sunglasses are on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick up one. Thank you. Yeah, no, do it. You probably need them. There we are. It's very bright. We are back under so the um, the parasols. Yeah. It's like, it's that late in the day. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had many of these, I swear. I swear, I swear. We're having a little glass of champagne. So back enjoying the races. We're, I think, the fourth race now, so yes. they're coming through quick we and fast. We haven't put a bet on yet. I just don't feel confident no, in doing so. I'm not a betting man. I'm not. I feel like it's just very uncharted territory. You know, like, know I would lose. I know, I know. It's I know it's a bad attitude. It is. With betting. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe, uh, who knows? Sometimes, like, what's the beginner's look? And sometimes yeah. you bet on something and you win, but... I like Tom Bowler. What's that? Oh, the raffle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like a raffle. And you win, like, a tin of beanies well. So, um, I feel like you're odds are better with them. A bath bomb. It's usually yes. a bath bomb, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or some Bailey's. Redox. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, Bailey's. Where are you going to push Tom Bowler? <laughs> Anyway, we're having a lovely glass of champagne and um, yeah, we're just soaking up the sun and really enjoying our very nice chill afternoon. They suit you well. Double specs. <laughs> Hi, this is you and Cam just taking over Luke's vlog because Luke has gone to get some food so I just thought I would show you what he's up to. We can spy on him together. <laughs> I'm just sitting here enjoying this and look, there he is. As always, Luke is working behind the scenes, what you don't see. <laughs> So this is our, I mean, it is nearly five o'clock, so this is kind of like an early dinner, but this is fuel for the rest of the day. We've gone for a um, Korean fried chicken with, it's like a, she recommended the gravy. Mm. And now I said that was Northern, so I was like, I love my gravy. So it's like a spicy gravy, yeah? It's nice. Okay, and then I've gone for a cauliflower, a fried cauliflower with a gochujang spicy sauce with slow 
and um, some fries. Yeah. Someone messaged me saying this is an important one and go for it. We've got the rose. Frank Vittori. Is he Italian? He's Italian, isn't he? I think. I could be wrong. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's like Cockney. <laughs> Anyway, we've got the rose to watch the last race of the day. They're coming round, so cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheer. Frank Dettori just smashed that. He did really well, and Ewan got the tip off. But the, the, the one of our followers. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone messaged you yeah. to say the Frank. Watch out for Frankie. Yeah. And he's only gone and won it. We could have paid for all of our roses yeah. with the winnings. Never mind. Hey ho, we've had a nice. You win some, you lose. Some. We've had a nice day, and we got yeah. right to the front, so we can see them all squishing in where the hooves have been, pushing them back into the ground. I don't think that was the last race of the day, but um, I'm just having the best time. It's lovely. It's lovely. It? Yeah. People are getting more and more um, tipsy. The heels, yeah. are, the heels are coming off. Yeah. The dresses are getting a bit more like, woo, yeah. the guys are taking off the shirt. There's not many jackets still on No, now, the jackets we're, we're doing well, actually. Oh, they're doing the awards. Anyway, oh, there he is. There he is. Woo! Yeah, he's done well. He's done very well. What a guy. Anyway, we should have betted them, but we didn't. Yes. <laughs> and now I'm watching the last race of the afternoon. And then the sun has come out. Oh, we've got prime time view and let me show you the horses coming through as the last show and um, we've got the big screen up here ready to watch we both placed imaginary bets on who we wanted to win Luke was a close second yeah I think maybe I've gone for Alabama who was yours Darcy Darcy, Darcy. Yeah. The fourth place horse, number 25. They're announcing the numbers, but we don't know the names that correlate with the numbers. The provisional result of the Windsor Castle Stakes. First, number four, Big Evs. Big Evs. Second, number 12, Sorry, Johannes Brahms. Brahms. Third, number 11, Inquisitively. And the yeah, fourth place horse, number 25, of the Manor. No, we won him close. We won him close. See, we've lost so many, it's fine. We would never have got it. <laughs> oh. Oh, hello, darling. I'm back. And I am ready for a chill evening. Ascot was wonderful. It was it was busy. It was certainly an atmosphere, and I've had a very great time. But the sun, I feel very frazzled. It was so nice to see you. And, and yeah, thank you so much to Harrogate for taking us. I honestly, I loved it. It was really nice. I want to take Zara one year because I feel like she would thrive with the fashion. <laughs> but I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. A little look into something that's a traditional... Uh, event here in England in London um, and, and beyond as well but thank you so much for watching love to you all take care and I'll catch you all very soon bye for now